What's going on everybody? Luigi Ontiveros here. I want to talk to you today about what should you do first so that you can start wholesaling houses. Let's get started. Please help me welcome. What's going on everybody? Luigi Ontiveros here. Luigi, what should I do first? I want to get started wholesaling houses. What should I do first? And it's interesting because I always give them the answer that they're never expecting, right? They're expecting like some kind of strategy, go and find these sellers over here and go start making offers over here. And that is part of it. However, the first thing that you need to be worrying about is why do you want to start wholesaling houses? Yes, I know you want to make money, but why do you want to make money? Because I'm going to tell you the truth. If you don't have this square away up front, it's gonna come and hunt you and bite you in the behind a little later down the road. It's gonna show up as procrastination. It's gonna show up as unsatisfied with your business. It's gonna show up in many other forms. You're not gonna be happy at the end of the day. So you need to get very clear on why you wanna start wholesaling houses, why you're choosing real estate as the vehicle to get you where you wanna go, because that is gonna be what's gonna fuel your desire to keep you going when the times get hard and challenges come, which they will for, with any worthy endeavor. And I was in a point in my life where I basically had no money. I had a thousand dollars for my, my wife, my daughter, my cat, and myself, and I was running out of options and I was depressed and I was desperate. And I remember getting in on my knees at night and praying, Lord, give me direction. Like all I want is to provide for my family. Like that's, that's all I want, right? And. Uh, not too much uh, later after that is when my wife came up to me one day and she's like, you know what, I, we need to leave your parents' house and, and I'm, I'm, I'm tired of just living here and, and, and just, you know, just live in a little room and, 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 and I was, I got mad, honestly, I got, I got pissed off. But at the same time, I was like, you know what, she's right. They deserve better and it's my responsibility to give them that. I started looking for houses and my mindset at the time, worst case scenario, I'll get a job at McDonald's I'll make a thousand bucks a month and that and, and I started looking for houses in Temecula and I started looking at the price history and I saw that somebody had bought it for a hundred thousand two months ago and now they had it listed for 350 right so that's when the light bulb went on the aha when I had that epiphany I was like wait a minute like this is, this is what I need to get into. I need to start flipping houses. So I started going to the auctions. I started like just immersing, fully immersing my mind and everything I was thinking about into how to start flipping houses. And I came across a video of a guy, I think it's Michael Jake, and he basically had a video that said, 10 ways you can buy houses with no money and no credit. So I downloaded that audio and I devoured it. And then I ended up buying a course from another guy and I just started taking action. Soon after that, I ended up doing a $13,000 deal and I haven't looked back since. All right, so now I'm here giving back to you. It's a full circle. Maybe you're running into this video now and you're me at that point in time and I am that guy in that video. And I can tell you this, you can do this business. You can do this business, but it's not gonna be easy. You have to commit. If you're gonna do this, go all in. Go all in. Make your decisions based on faith and don't doubt, don't be a doubt. Now you need a design, okay? You need to start with the end in mind. What do you want your life to look like? Do you wanna do virtual wholesaling? Do you wanna do deals in different cities and different states? Do you wanna to talk to sellers? You need to choose what you want your business and your life to look like. You wanna you want to know what the end is so that you can work towards that. The next thing is you need to pick a system and a mentor to follow, okay? You cannot reinvent the wheel. And that takes us to our next thing. Take action and persist until failure quits, okay? You will have challenges. You will fail. You will fall flat on your face in the beginning. If you persist, you will make it happen. Because we gotta remember one thing. A quitter never wins and a winner never quits. I love that quote. That's Napoleon Hill. Comment below, a quitter never wins and a winner never quits. And I'm gonna pick one of the comments. 
I used to have this huge banner that says a, a winner never quits and a quitter never wins. That way all my sales guys that would come in there, that would be right in their face every time they walk into the office. I'm gonna pick one of you guys that's commenting below and I'm gonna mail it to you so that you can put it on your wall or wherever you want. Go ahead and comment below, let me know what you think. If you want the banner, a quitter never wins and a winner never quits. I hope this gives you clarity. I hope this gives you good direction and purpose so that you can uh, know where to begin when you want to start your wholesaling business. And if it does, like, subscribe, share the video. Thank you for your time. Go out there and take action. Take care and God bless, and I'll see you on the next video.